Hey, hey everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Alpine Alpaca here. This is another Pico 8 game, uh, and this is honestly one of the coolest Pico 8 games that we've checked out so far, and we've checked out quite a few, so... I'm super pumped, and I'm probably going to have to talk about this one on the podcast, too, at some point, because I like it that much. Um, but yeah, basically, you can see the rules is it just kind of lays out the quick tutorial here. I'm just trying to get through the gates, and it's just a procedurally generated deck-building turn-based kind of thing. And uh, yeah, every gate you get through, uh, you get three points, I believe, although my high score is 10, so I don't know how I got that extra point but for now I just have like a couple regular cards but you'll see shortly hopefully I'll be able to pull it off without too much uh, delay uh, but there'll be new cards added to the deck after you pass through uh, three gates so and that's all the score is like there's no uh, abominable snowman or whatever that like robot yeti monster was so you can see obviously right away that you're gonna get the green you can I love that it like shows what's gonna happen like oh I'm gonna hit a tree there uh, but you can see your moves. I love how the camera shifts. Like, this game is honestly just absolutely brilliant. And the music is uh, just phenomenal. From Gruber Music, as always, I'm a huge fan. Like, pretty much everything on Pico 8 that has great music is usually from Gruber. Um, and, yeah, you get a little bank shot there. And then, yeah, okay, so three gates, you get uh, new cards to add to your deck. So add more turns to your deck. That's not too bad. Uh... Strafe cards for just pure sideways movement, but the game or no, but this will destroy all the obstacles I had this one last time uh, before I was recording the video here, but yeah, that'll make the game harder So let's just go with the uh, Sideways movement because that's gonna come in handy. I think um, and it's not gonna make the game any more difficult. So Although it's just gonna make me tiptoe around a little so Let's see. Okay, there we go. Got another gate up to 12 new high score, baby. But yeah, this game is really, really awesome. I'm just going to be gushing this whole time. But uh, with all these videos, I kind of intend to just highlight some games that I think are cool. So uh, if you like what you see, I would recommend just checking out the uh, link at the top of the video description and checking this game out for yourself, which the links will always be right there. I think I'm... That means I'm going to hit something, right? Oh, I, I can dodge it here. Cool. For a second, I thought I didn't have a way to not run into something but god damn this music is incredible now i wonder if i'm gonna get a bank shot yes so the bank like you can kind of see so it doesn't totally show jump obstacles when played but the game gets harder i haven't tried that one yet in any add short downhill cards to your deck okay that's not bad um the sideways let's let's get the short downhill cards let's keep uh let's not make things too crazy just yet um Got a nice 18 score so far. Um, we can go down one here. Oh, you know what? I think I can sneak through here. Yes. And then maybe get a little bank shot. Oh, no, I don't even need the bank shot. Straight through, 21. Yes. God damn it. I love this game. Holy shit, this is good. Again, I haven't played too much of this, so <laughs> part of this is just me realizing it's even better than I thought. Um, but again, with all the videos on our channel here, it's always going to be a game that uh, sometimes it is going to be the first time we're checking it out. But usually I take like at least a quick peek beforehand and like, OK, yeah, this is definitely a game I want to showcase. Sometimes I just know like I'm a sucker for a good like uh, action platformer and stuff like that. So sometimes I know kind of what I want to like if it's a game. Like, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, that new game from Yacht Club, uh, Cyber Shadow. Like, it's like, I'm gonna just probably just start that one up fresh. Because it is fun to just go into a game totally blind. Um, but yeah, getting sidetracked on my, uh, thoughts here. Shit. Let's just go down one. Ah! Okay. I'm doing pretty good here. Obviously, I mean, this is my best run yet. I don't know how good this is in the grand scheme of things, but... I think this is my only option here. Not bad. But I am just in love with this song. Again, I know I've said this a few times. Um, That's going to be a crash. That doesn't seem like it's going to make me crash all the way. I just bump off of it? Okay. Okay, so the, that's, that's kind of interesting. I would have thought the stumps would take me out. Out of commish, but... 
Not today. The trees, unfortunately, <laughs> looks like I might be out of options here. I don't have the option to shuffle, so damn wiped out. But 25, not bad. Oh, and it's cool. It keeps track of your moves and your distance, too. I didn't notice that before, so. Um, but you know I'm going to do another run here. Um, but yeah, obviously, if you like what you see, like I said before, check the link at the top of the video description. But I am just going to dig right in again and keep playing a few runs here and we'll see how I'm, I'm gonna play a few runs here because i am fucking into this game um and again it always helps when there's like the music's just bopping along but i'm kind of getting i mean it's a totally different style of gameplay but kind of getting a high stakes vibe which is probably like the next most hooked i've gotten on a uh, pico 8 game um it's got a it's like a gambling game uh, it's really, really cool. A gambling card game um, from Christman, which we also have a video on. I think I'm going to do the, yeah, speed up. Uh, oh, yeah, so they're just uh, faster, or not faster cards, but just four tiles. Oh! It'll make all my cards from then on. Okay, let's just go for it. Boom, speed up, baby. So I'm gonna, okay, I was like, am I gonna have to do the math on things on my own? But no, it's just gonna do it, like it adds it on the uh, marker that shows where you're gonna end up, which is nice. So, okay, good to know that I can bounce off these rocks and stumps, so it's even, uh, I don't wanna say easier than I thought it was, but there's just less things I need to avoid, and it's, uh, it's very predictable which way you're gonna bounce off too, which is really nice. Um, definitely don't always get that. Three gates, there we go. Ooh, reduces any gain speed. Okay, nice. Oh, this is, this is a real, like there's some seriously cool deck building mechanics here. Oh shit. Okay, how about... Oh, that's a bigger rock, okay. So let's go to that, slow back down, okay, back to normal. But then again, that fast card is back in my, back in my deck again. Get through there. Just speed things back up again. I think I can, yeah, I think that'll get me through, yeah. Fuck, oh no, you know what? This'll work. I was like, watch it bank me right into the evergreen. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way over there, so let's just zoom right on past there. You don't see... Oh, thir I'm already at 32. Hell yeah. There we go. Give me a straight down. Yeah. 36. Give me some new cards. Speed up and get extra points. I wonder why that's called bombing, but okay. Ah, uh, let's go with the kicker. Jumps ready. Do it, baby. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so this now. Now I'm pretty sure, even though it says I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna bank to the side and then miss it. Yes. And here, ah, oh, shit. Um. I don't trust this. Oh yeah, that's I'm gonna slam right into the wall. What am I thinking? The fuck am I thinking? Um let's go jump again. Did I jump Oh no! So landing on the stump. Interesting. Interesting. Way less moves, way better score though, but let's hit the slopes again. God damn it, I love this game. Oh. Didn't mean to start with that card. I was I just like was uh trying to progress the text along there. But that'll do. No biggie, it didn't throw off my uh game plan or anything. This should work. God, this game, I, this is one of those games I could seriously just play for hours on end. And not necessarily consecutively, like I know our videos are usually on the short-ish side, 
like, you know, definitely a half hour to an hour. Um, but, like, I can just, like, pick up and play this whenever I love. There's so many good Pico 8 games like that. Um, just get some more diagonal cards. Um, there we go. Zip back around. Bank right in. Nice. Dang it. Just go right. Shoot. Zigzag. Shoot. Perfect. Ah, uh, actually. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna work. But now I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. Fuck! Okay. Not too hot on that one. Here we go. Fired up again. But again, not to keep repeating myself, but by now you know if this is something you want to check out or not, and if you do, check out the link at the top of the video description. I'll stop repeating myself until the end of the video there, but I'll play at least uh, probably five more runs here. And again, if you're familiar with our channel, you know that never truly means what it means. That number means pretty much nothing is basically what I'm trying to say. One more never means one more, which is the best sign of a great game. Um, I honestly don't even remember going through a gate yet. But I've got the points to show for it. Now there's one. But obviously two. Oh, there we go. Nice. Give me a new uh, set. The jump. You know, let me get the strafe back. I wish they were to the best I saw. Or at least, yeah, maybe I didn't come across any of them. But... I only got, uh, like, the single strafe cards, which is kind of a bummer. Like, one to the left or one to the right. Um, just snag that. Straight down. That should get me through. Nice. It could be nice if there was more than one, which I guess if I get the speed up uh, buff later on. Um, yeah, yeah, that should do it. Nice. Short downhill cards. Okay. Uh, let's just... Yeah. Okay. Getting a little more reckless here, I feel. That's gonna... Ah! Oh, I was gonna say that's gonna take me right into a tree. I thought it was gonna take me to the other one, but... I guess, yeah, that makes sense. I was going off to the right... But fuck! Here we go. So that's one of five. This will be two. I'm gonna try to keep my word this time. Although I feel like there's still a few mechanics I haven't come across yet. As far as just like the different additions to my uh, deck. Still pretty impressed with that first run I had. I feel like I got some had some really good steam going there. Uh, short downhill is not bad. How about the bomb? Yeah, that's I I like the bomb. And it seems like you always like your deck never like runs out to the point where like you have to use that last card. I mean you have to use one of your four cards, but it's. Uh, oh, okay, so it's not all the obstacles on the screen. It's just the ones that are within your immediate radius. Okay. Before, I thought it was everything on the screen when I used it the first time. Um, how about... Yeah. There it is. A little more strategic there. Oh, there we go. Right on the line. I love that just hitting the line is enough to, uh... Short downhill cards. How about more downhill cards? That'll work for me. I guess in this case I can just go straight down. 
Oh, I, am I getting points for bumping into stuff? I think I am. That's how I got... That's how I had 10 as my high score at first. I think just bumping into one of these obstacles gives you a point, including the gates. It does. Interesting. That's super interesting. Oh, a little combo. Whoa. Okay, this game just got even better. Fucking get out of town. Do I get points for blowing up stuff? No. But apparently the game will get harder now, so I don't know if that's just going to mean that there's going to be more obstacles uh, populating as I move along. Well, it's not going to matter because I'm going to fucking know where to run. Know where to run on that one. And only 24. Dang. That's two. I think. That might have been three, but I'm pretty sure that was two. I got the worst memory. But I get so sucked into these games. But okay, this is... Either way, this is run number three. In my mind. But this is seriously, this is top tier Pico 8 game for me. Like, I, I'm gonna be coming back to this one again and again. This will probably be added to the uh, streaming repertoire. Or repertoire. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so self-conscious sometimes. Sometimes. That's an understatement. But who cares, actually? There we go, there we go. I'll take more traversal. You know, my first run, I was making some quick decisions, and that seemed to help me out. Yeah, bank shot. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, now that I know that these banks are what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now that's gonna put me into the tree, I think. This is gonna put me on the line, yes. Okay, more downhill cards, or do I wanna go side to side? Oh, how about, I'll add the kicker, the jumper, third eye blind style. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot, I was thinking I already used the jump. Good thing I didn't just go for that. Thread through there. Did I pick up the kicker? Could have sworn that's what I picked. There it is. But it's only good for one jump. That's good to know. How about... Oh, no! Oh, I don't know why I thought I was going to go the other way. Fuck! God damn it. Alright, this is four. I gotta beat my 38. That's funny, I'm pretty sure the 38 is like the, when you like boot up the game, I'm pretty sure that's like the score on the title screen. Or like on the Pico 8 menu screen. When you're uh, in the Splore menu. Now that's interesting, I banked off the gate and I didn't get any bonus points there. So maybe it's only when you bounce off the rocks and stuff. Oh, oh back and forth, I'm, I landed on the rock. I like ended up on the rock. Boom. Racking up the bonus points on this one. All right. All right, let's give myself some some maneuverability. That's a, that is what I had on my first run when I had a nice uh, nice stretch there. Ah, uh, yeah, this should do it. Boom. Okay. Feeling good about that bank shot? Okay, so yeah, so it is only when you bank off the rocks or the stumps that you get the bonus points. Okay, so I don't want to go that way, obviously. This just centers you when you bank off the gates. Speed up and get extra points, but the game gets harder. But extra points? Yeah, how about extra points? That is what we're trying to do here anyways. Uh, 
Tippy toe, yeah. Boom, yeah. Little bank shot. I gotta keep saying, or I gotta keep, I gotta quit saying the same thing over and over and over again. Fucking broken record. All right, I'm getting there on the high score. 31. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get over to that gate, obviously. Okay. Uh, is this gonna push me into the rocks? Taking my chances. Oh, yeah. Thread the needle, baby. Uh, how about... How about... I don't know if this... I don't know if this was smart. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is! Oh, yeah! One point away. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, reduce that speed after. How about... This might not do it for me. Oh, no! Oh, no, and I tied my score. Fuck. I totally, I guess I spoke too soon. I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to bank the other way. I don't know why. Fuck. I got, once I figure out exactly how that works and I can predict that, that's going to be, I'm going to be completely hooked on this game, but this is going to be the last run here. I'm feeling pretty good that I tied my, uh, run. I think this will move me over. Yeah. Whew. You know I would have done another run if that was <laughs> if that was how this one ended. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll put me in the center. Nice. Three quickies. Let's get the jump. Let's head down. Um... Nope, that'll fuck me up. I could've used the jump. Whatever. Right next to it. Okay, this should put me right through with a bank shot. Yeah! Okay. I guess I got... Still safe over here. Ah, shoot. So give me a straight down card. Um, I'm gonna try the jump. I guess. Oh yeah, my character is bouncing. I was like, I wonder how, if you, how you can tell that you have the jump. Oh my god, that made me so nervous. Okay, how about a little bank shot? There I go, repeating myself again. There we go. How about... A little sidestep action. Yeah, this will work. Um... I don't know. Okay, this might be better. Yeah. Um... I don't know about this. No, that's a bad idea. I think this is my only... Well, I could sidestep. Although, I don't know what happens if I sidestep into the gate. I think this is my best option. Um, This is going to fucking kill me for sure. Because, yeah, that's gonna that will kill me for sure. Obviously, that will. I don't know what to do. That's going to kill... Oh, no! Oh, what a lucky fucking break! Oh my god. Okay, what do I want to do here? Yeah, this looks a little less treacherous over here. I mean, I obviously want to be near this. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to try to get to that gate. I'll take the point for that, and for that. Um... How about... That won't work. Let's ready the jump. Yeah. Okay. I think... No! No! Ah! I feel like I went one extra tile. Like the jump... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. 
damn it, I'm doing one more. <laughs> but this will be the last one for sure. Um, because I might want I want to check out another game or two tonight. Been there's so many Pico 8 games that I want to check out that are on my rim. Like my favorites list is like basically unnavigable at this point. Um, it's it's ridiculous. I'm trying to play like a little. I'm trying to like act like I'm thinking like oh yeah I got a great idea for this run like I'm actually playing more strategic but I'm really just kind of either getting lucky or unlucky I think this will bank me out of the way there we go I'm trying to get more used to that I'm gonna let's just keep get some regular cards into the mix um That'll do... What do you got? Oh, nice. Didn't think I was going to be able to salvage getting through here. Ah, dang it. That's my only option, I guess, there. Let's go straight. Get myself a... Yeah, there we go. I so give myself a chance to get through there. Nice little bank shot. Ah, uh, clean or the bank? Uh, no, that'll still kill me. Let's go clean. Ah, uh, speed up extra points. Short. Yeah, let's get the speed up. I want to take take some risk here. Um. Hmm. Okay. I was kind of thinking it was gonna bank me the other way, but again, once I once I get that down, I'm gonna feel great. Cause there was the same thing with high stakes, which I mentioned earlier. Um, that there was like a few mechanics that's like, okay, now now I know what I'm doing here. Oh shit, it's gonna speed up again. Uh, but yeah, once I got that down, it was like, okay, I'm a little more confident with like the moves I'm making. Or no, I haven't used the speed up card yet. I see. I see. Okay, this is a decent run so far too. Not that I'm in great shape at the moment, but not in bad shape. Boom. Three gates, new card. Let's add strafe into the mix. I feel like the uh, speed up went away. Could be wrong, but I don't know if picking that up negated it or what the deal is, but I'm not mad about it. Let's sneak past that rock while I can. Uh, nope. How about... Yeah, can I sneak through that? That's going to bounce me into the tree, though. Shoot. Shoot! Any which way I go. Damn it! Ah, Not even quite my best score yet again, but what an awesome, awesome game. I just highly, highly recommend checking out Alpine Alpaca. And I think we also checked out Polar Panic from uh, the same developer here. Um, and I think they have a bunch of other Pico 8 games as well, so I'll probably check out some more in the future. But uh, like I said in some of our other videos, we've got a Pico 8 playlist if you're curious and checking out uh, some of our favorites. But uh, otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as always. And take care.